Hi guys, welcome back to the Outlaws. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Um, I'm gonna go and discuss more about my hobby, about video gaming, because God, why don't, why can't, why not? Everyone does it more or less. That's actually kind of the whole point of this video. Is I'm gonna talk about what I think is a good uh, setup. I think for people who don't play a lot, um, I will be speaking more on Xbox than PlayStation. Ooh, whoopsie daisy. Give me a second. But no, otherwise, yeah, I will be talking more about Xbox. I'm sorry, that is what I grew up on. Um, but with that, I will also talk about PlayStation and what I think is good. These are my personal setups. Um, they are not like, you know, pro setups. I do have my certain things I do like. Um, excuse me. But with this, I, it's just my what I've done. If you don't have to do it, you can have your own setup. And this is more for people who don't play. This isn't for like pro tips or nothing. This this ain't nothing. This is just to tell people who probably have never played and be like, I think this is what you would probably need to st start set up. Um, this is also an accruement, and what I mean by that for people out there, this is all the stuff I've gotten over the past whew, what twenty years so well okay uh, ten years let me let me give more general ten years I've accrued all this stuff so it's not like you can go out and buy it just instantly I mean you can if you really want if you have a job but first I want to discuss that I have an Xbox um I have an Xbox one s slim edition I do believe it is a five hundred gigabyte edition so actually it's either five hundred or it's one terabyte I can't remember um it actually might be the terabyte edition i honestly do not know i know it's one of those two i know that's the only conditions they come in um it is a good console for those who want to begin um i will say this um i think xbox is more friendly is more friendly um what is it friendly user or whatever it's called just it, it is help, better for people who want to start out it is just easier to use um, that is from my perspective and from what I've learned and things like that. It's not like to, it's to each their own. You do whatever you need to. I am just discussing what I like and what I've done. It's down here on the floor. I'm sorry you can't see it. I do not have... Whee! Actually, that is my setup. Um, I Yes, they're on the ground. Don't get mad at me. It's just how I do it. But with this, that is my Xbox One. That's my Xbox One S connected to a... Kind of a cheap little air um air fan, it uh, it does help I think um for those who are out there um who want to start um yeah, I think it is a good idea you should probably buy a small fan of some kind just for just because I am one who does not like overheating I do not care for it I do not want it to happen I don't think I do anything to make it happen but still this is soda promise. You. But with this, I the one thing I do want to talk about with this is I have over last calculation 120 games digitally and on CD all together. I have about 120 games. This is most important right now, and uh, this is going to be a little weird. But on the ground, as you can see, there's a black box and there's a green box. The black box. Well, both of them are external hard drives. Sorry, this might get a little wonky for y'all. Sorry if the camera quality is bad. It's just how the, it's just the way the world works. But the black box and the green box are two external hard drives connected to US or they had their own personal connections connected with a USB port. They came with them. Um, the black box is a five terabyte external hard drive. It it runs very well. However. For those out there who want to mimic, I would say personally, for me, because of how many games I have, I have over a hundred. And these are in some of my top, I would say, I would say top 10 for each hard drive is like 50 minimums or maybe a little bit less, but like minimum of 40 for the top 10. So I easily have three terabyte or two terabytes, three terabytes kind of finished for both. Mm, Black one has three, um, green one has two ter one point some terabytes done. It, it it's a lot of it's a lot, but for those who are out there, I would suggest getting about five terabytes. 
just in case. Now, however, with this one, I am like, I can't remember the name. Can I read it? Yeah, give me a second. <clears throat> This is a 2.5 HDD external hard drive storage. It has five terabytes with it. Um, there has become a slight issue with it for the fact of once it started hitting three terabytes, the storage. Now, maybe it's the connection of the USB. Maybe it's something else. But the Xbox does seem to stop really having good downloading connections um games will stop and Im just immediately randomly stop downloading stuff like that um sometimes your games will disappear stuff like that so the, the more terabyte you have and the more games you play and stuff like that the harder it is for the storage to really keep up now that's just i think generally how it is i'm sorry that that is the price you pay for playing so many games i play a lot of single player games that is what i do that is what i like I do play multiplayer. Oh boy. A little bit. Un poco. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Not to any major extent. But I used to play Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty. I used, I prestiged four times in about two months. Now, that man, for some people, that's like, ah, oh, that's easy. And I'm just over here like, yeah, but I also didn't have good Wi Fi. So when I say not good, I mean like, I think like ping was like 100 or higher. Like it was bad. It was really bad. But I I prestiged. I, I got real good at one game. That I will I will proudly say Infinite Warfare was a game I had. I could easily I could have gone like 35, five. Like it was it was great. But back to the topic. Um, that obviously you get the console. You get the controller. You get the general Xbox, I think, controller. You might also try and go get Pro. Um, no offense, I don't... I don't know why you would get the Pro. I personally got a... Um, I have it right here. I'll show you in a little bit. I got my own kind of like a third-party um, controller. With the controller, you can map it out. You'll learn how it works on the console. Console setups are very easy, no matter what. They are generally easy. However, right now they have gone to the point where you do need to create an account, stuff like that, obviously, to have a profile. Um, with the name of your profile, go crazy. However, remember, I think Xbox has this. Maybe they've changed it where you can change your um, name more multiple times now. I honestly don't know. I've changed it once. Actually, no, I think you can change it once every year now. But do not change. Do, get a name that you are used to. Or some that you like, but know that you're gonna be made fun of it. It's just how it is. My name is Gloop Gloopy Form on Xbox. That is just the name I found. I was playing on Switch, and that's what popped up as like a random name. And I was like, I got that. I changed everything to it because I was like, that's a stupid name, and I love it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my name. Everyone has their weird names. I have mine. I, I do find I have some pride in it. Sorry, but that's I'm just saying. Xbox video games and all that startup is fine. Um, you'll learn through it. It's not that hard. You can map controllers certain ways if you want. Yeah, I think you have to. Um, you can go into settings. Um, that's just for those who wish to. Um, with controllers and profiles. Um. It's what I did to my one controller here. It's um, it's a Power A Pro controller. It's about a hundred eighty bucks. Um, it's really nice. Um, it's really nice. It has um, it does have triggers. I just don't use them that often. I will say this: you can map it out, and in mine personally has the ability to can you know sign me in and stuff like that. I like it. Um, my controller signs me in personally. Other controllers can sign whoever they want in. Um, they have to choose. Um, actually, I gotta figure that. Out. I gotta fix that. Actually, now I think about it. But it is a good little system to have. Um, uh, you can, you know, you can control the pamphlet of how the um, user interface looks inside the Xbox when you're there. Um, do whatever you want. I don't care. It's it's up to you for the beginners. 
with that, um, you got to remember, um, every time you want to buy something like a console or something like that, or buy something new that's big like that, um, you got to think about the console first. The consoles, you, consoles for almost you, universally have been five hundred dollars. Um, for since I was growing up, every console new was five hundred, except for um digital. Digital is around three. Um, with that, they usually came with one controller. Um, I think maybe a cord. The cords that are required for the Xbox to play, um, which are the USB and the power cable. Those you have to keep. Also, to return and trade in, you have to keep those cords and the original controller. Or maybe if you don't want to, grab a controller you already have that's very similar or the same from a different one. Plug it in, you'll be fine. However, you do need to keep those things if you want to return it or trade it in. So remember that for future. Uh, I did not keep mine, so it's not going to be that good. Um, with that, when you buy a console, you have to buy, I would like to say storage, you have to buy games. Games right now and generally, any game that is new or considered to be just released, some something like that, or high, not high value, but moderately good and famous, they are 60 bucks. 60 to about 40 50 45 like you all new releases always 60 bucks or more i'm sorry that's just how it is this is how the world works I'm just letting you guys go out there and realize it if you now i'm i know i'm talking to a very small minute i think party but with that still for those who just don't do it it is about 60 bucks and now these are pretty big games these are games that you will enjoy i think these are pretty big famous and known so if you do buy it and you don't like it and you return it or you trade it in, you will get a good piece of money back unless you return it and just get it all back. So don't worry if it is one of those things of, oh, I spent 60 bucks, but I don't like it. So I ha but you do have one week. You have one week to send it back. So that's just my little two cents there. Specifically GameStop. We're not going to get into GameStop. It's a whole other issue. But... Sorry, that drink is just going down, man. With that, you have to get games. Games are about 60. Um, lower end games are around 30. And then you can get the like buy four, buy four for 20 bucks, which is usually $20 games and below. They, you can find gems. I will say that you can find gems. I'm not saying you can't, but with that, you do. Uh, yeah. You're gonna get what you buy for you're gonna you're gonna get what you buy, but there are gems that are like you know not super mainly popular, but games you might enjoy personally that you find to be perfect. Um Crackdown 3 is one of them. Uh, some Call of Duties, right? I think are ending up kind of like that. Old ones, I think. I don't I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't bought a game in person in a while. Uh, I'm actually trying to think. Some Lego games now, I also for those who want to chat, I will say this, I grew up on Lego games and a few other things like that. They were good, they were fun, they are bad quality, they're bad graphics quality now, but, you know, to each their own time, it does catch up. Uh, that, that's just kind of the beginning stuff for people, obviously, that's just kind of known. It's just one of those things, that's what you gotta do, you gotta prepare for it. Um, so if you if you start out if you want to start out strong, well, the next subject I guess I would put into this is depending on what games you like. Um, there are you know genres that I can't even list that exist probably stuff like that. Um, I am personally an FPS, a first person shooter. Um, MMO I think is like major multiplayer outfits some like not outfit but like output or some like mass i don't know mass multiple something i honestly can't remember or mass media some i honestly can't remember what that one really is called i know it's big i think it's a uh personally it's like supposed to be a mass amount kind of game where like a lot of people or individuals or units exist stuff stuff like that there are now um, battle royales, which everyone usually knows about, where there's an arena. Battle royale is an arena where everyone has a chance, where everyone goes and gets dropped in. 
obviously. Like I said, this is for people who should, you should probably know this, you know, for, for sakes of people who are out there who don't. You go into the arena, you kind of just either spawn, spawn, which is ex pop open to existence, or you fly in and you go find a weapon or whatever the game requires. Um, it's kind of out of luck. See how it goes. You have to kill everyone else or end everyone else and be the last one standing. Um, with that, there is always usually a border around the map. That will slowly close in and kill anyone who is not able to get out or if someone stays outside of the border or the boundaries. So that's Battle Royale. Um, there is isometric top-down or isometric, I think, means top-down. But top-down means for a lot of those and top-down and dungeon crawlers, stuff like that. It is legitimately where... Excuse me. It is legitimately where you are in the eye in the sky... You see the map or the layout of kind of like a hall, not a hallway, but you kind of look down. It's kind of like the blueprints of a building, almost now depending on what game. But you will usually see the person, the character. You can usually walk them around and do whatever you want or whatever the game requires. But that's kind of how those games work. Um, a lot of those, a lot of those are in, uh, not all, but a few of those can be roguelikes, which are, you have a one life, you go from point A, you have to try and get to point B or whatever point. And if you die, you die, you go back, you get points and you slowly accrue things over time. But you go from point A to point B infinitely, essentially. And point B is the end of the game. But you go from point A and try and get a point B. But um, top downs are really fun because they do have a lot of um, things that are very interesting. Like usually my favorite types are kind of like gun top downs where you have your right stick so right thumb has a stick and you usually have a gun and you just shoot like circles but it's very interesting because i don't know i i grew up with those a little bit they were very interesting uh what was it rpg role-playing games those can be a lot of single player story likes where you play a game of a story of someone and you have a role to play um those do typically have I think what we, what people call choices. Um, you do something, you do something, and it will affect the game later that you might have not realized. Stuff like that. Um, I think one for people right now. It's well, I know of Cyberpunk is a, I think an RPG of some kind. I think maybe I'm getting that wrong. Remember, I'm growing. I'm just basing it off of what I think the definition is. So I'm not going off of like what the internet says. This is just what I've kind of gone gone and seen. Then there's, oof, man, I'm trying to think, honestly, there's a lot out there, but that was a kind of the general, that's the gist of what games you like to play. There's turn-based, there's Pokemon, stuff like that, all sorts of games, there's fighters, there's gunners, there's all sorts of stuff. My, um, my personal favorites are, oh, games like Prototype, where you are a character, you, it's third person over the shoulder, so you see your character, but you kind of move him, and then you throw him kind of over the shoulder um, camera. You run around, you kill a bunch of people, but that's just how the game is. Um, otherwise, trying to think, I personally liked Halo and the Halo series um, collection. I did not play one or two. I played three in ODST. Halo 4, Halo 5, yeah, and that was it. Those were great. Those were fun. Multiplayer on those were amazing. You could have a lot of people play with you. Oh, my lord, those were the best. Those, those were a good time. Though That's a really good one to start out for those who want to try a single-player story mode kind of adventure and also see how... the I personally am single-player, so for those who agree and want to try stories... That's a good one. It is a first-person shooter, so you have to be good with, well, first-person shooting. That's, that is something you can practice it with. I think Xbox is pretty good with that, depending on what game you're going going for. Don't go into Call of Duty. If you're not good at FPS, you will get your hand, butt handed to you very quickly. Let's see. Let's see. What, what other games were big that I think is good for other people to um, look at? Like I said, LEGO games are good. 
they're fun they're very creative they're very very creative i like them no that's just me oh i grew up with halo man i don't know why i'm being stumped by my own memory i played call of duty uh, that's what one of them was um shadow of war now that i'm thinking about it uh, i know it's newer but shadow of war or shadow of mordor whichever one i uh, both i think right now are really good for those who want to play a kind of odd third person um roam around game um hey, you have we have to have you have to be sneaky about it stuff like that you do have to actually put some effort into it that one's good that one is fun for those who are out there you that that one is good to look into it's fun you have to do you have to actually be good at the game in the sense of you have to think about certain things like outside of just generally like fighting you have to actually think about what character is this and this and that this and this and this and that has yeah, such a good time god it's a ringtone my mom has such a mm, weird ringtone but I honestly, I'm sorry, guys. I really am trying to think about all the games I played when I was growing up. Because I'm, uh, man, I'm, I'm getting stumped. G, uh, G, GTX, GTA 5. Sorry, GTA 5. That one is popular. I personally didn't care for it that much. I just, the controls were too weird for me, or I just didn't get used to it, or I just didn't, attention span, just couldn't get to it. Uh, maybe one day I'll go back into it and see how it is. When I'm old, we'll see how it is. Really am trying to figure out what I played when I was growing up. Because Halo's the big one. Star or like Star Wars. Um oh man, I honestly can't remember. Oh well there was a there's some games that I grew up with that were not on Xbox, which was the uh GameCube, which Lord doesn't even exist anymore. GameCube and Star Fox Assault. For those who ever want to look out, just watch videos of it. Go for it on YouTube. Those were good. All right. Well, sorry, I can't actually really think about any more games. Sorry, guys. Um, I actually just so I can, so I can just give some little bit more content for this one. Now, like I said, this isn't supposed to be like super entertaining. This is just my opinion. This is what I've done. Okay. Oh, Darksiders 2. That one y'all should go into. Borderlands 1, um, Borderlands 2 and 3 and pre-sequel. I know people are going to crap on me for pre-sequel, but I actually really enjoyed it. It brought in lasers. Cra I already talked about Crackdown 3. Titanfall 2 was good for story. Shadow of War, already said that. Oh, that's what it was. Fallout, Fallout 4. Fallout 3. Or Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, and Fallout 4. Try those, please. Um, any of y'all who have any sort of single-player um, idea of wanting to do something, play those games. Especially 4, personally. I started with 4. Those are fun. They take some time, but they are fun. Along with Skyrim, it takes time. And the graphics are boo, but they are fun. That is what I'm going to say. They are fun. Um, like I said, Darksiders 2. Darksiders 2 is specifically because it's open world. Open world are any games that have one ginormous map. And when I say ginormous, I mean huge. You start in one spot, and after, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours, you got that map un uh, cleared up. You got all points everywhere, uh, points of interest everywhere. You just go for it. Assassin's Creed. That's the other one. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, not Brotherhood. Um, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Assassin's Creed Three, because that's what I played. Assassin's Creed Three, Assassin's Creed Four, Syndicate. I didn't finish Syndicate. Um, I also have uh Re Rebels. Assassin's Creed Rebels, something like that. That one you really need to get into. Syndicate. Then there's Odyssey, Origins, or Origins, Odyssey, and then um, uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
all of those, I am sorry. For, I know that sounds like a lot of money to spend. You should. All depending on what what all depending on what style of game you like to play, it's up to you. I will I I will at least give y'all this. And I'll at least give y'all this. I will give you the list of Assassin's Creed you should all you should just generally play. Personally, personally speaking, you do you. Assassin's Creed Four, Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag, that is really really good. It is considered one of the best. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Odyssey is really good. I like it. And Assassin's Creed. Valhalla, I really like those. Those three are really, really good. I think, and I am, and I know this. Black Flag is considered the most popular of all. Um, I believe it is considered to be just hands down one of the best. Far Cry three, four, and five, maybe six. Far Cry three and Far Cry four are really good. Y'all should go for it. Far Cry five. New Dawn and Six get weird. Six is good. I really enjoy Six. Go for it. But New Dawn got weird. And Five was really good, I think. But we'll, we'll figure that out. Doom is for whoever really wants to just hate themselves. Tom, Cam Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands first is really good. For those who have a third-person shooters that is really heavy into guns. And Breakpoint is good, but it's not. It's not. It's not Wild Lance. Sorry. Um, I will say for any third-person shooter who likes really big open world and a lot of activities and things to do. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division Two, specifically the second one. That one is. I I personally will speak to it as it is the perfect third-person game. I am sorry it is. Um, Dungeon Crawler. For those who even know what a dungeon crawler is, Diablo three. I'm sorry, Diablo three. Perfect. I I that's that's my perfect and favorite dungeon crawler. I haven't done much with it. Ironically, I, I've gone all six characters to seventy or eighty. Yeah, eighty. Beautiful. Um, Just Cause three is the is another one that I played and grew up with. Really good. Y'all should go for it. Let's see what the last ones are. Oh, uh, that's what it was. Nah. The last one was Godfall, but that's for PlayStation 5. On um, Black Ops 2 is a good story for any of y'all. Uh, sorry, y'all can't see. And then, sorry, I don't have any content. I do not have the ability to record the Xbox. So, y'all will not be getting videos of that. You might be getting it. Let me think about um if y'all help support this video. I will be able to create content, but I do need support. Um, I also am just need the ability to. I'm not sure. I don't believe the Xbox has its own self-recording ability, and I need um. I think it was um. Uh, some cap qualm, qualm, something like that. Something capture card. That's what it was. I need a capture card for it to just improve it and make it better. But that's just me. Um. All right, thank you guys. Um, thank you for the video. Um, this is my content. These are my personal opinions. So please, do as you want. This is just what I think is a good setup and a good start for people who don't know specifically like where to start. That is for Xbox. I could do PlayStation version later. I don't know as much for PlayStation, but to reach to each their own. Um, yeah. Thank you for the um. Thank you for watching. Hope you all got some good info out of this. This is my personal setup. So do as it as you will. Do what you want. I am not telling you what you can and can't do. But like I said, this is what I've done. It works. And just try things out. See what happens. See what doesn't. And just enjoy how it goes. All right. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Peace.